Hey guys, SA Hunter Outdoors here. I'm just going to give you a quick run through on one of my kingfish rigs that I use out near uh, Port Aransas. This is by no means not the only way to do it, so take what you want from it and run with it. Uh, so starting off, I'm using 30 pound, not too kinky wire. As you can see, just like the name says, it doesn't kink. It's nickel titanium, and because of that, it stretches, but does not kink. The downside to this is that not too kinky is a pain in the butt to tie. Uh, but once you go ahead and learn how to tie it, I think you'll find it's a little bit easier and a little bit quicker than wire. And it lasts quite a bit longer. I'm also going to be using Owner 3X number 4 hooks treble, as well as Owner Gorilla Lights and 4 aught for my front hook. And on top of that, I'll be putting a 50 pound SPRO swivel. Uh, these things are very, very tiny and they work great with this small diameter wire. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I've already gone ahead and cut off about two and a half, two, two and a half feet of wire. As you can see, again, not too kinky. And what I'm gonna go and do initially is just start off with a loop knot. So we're gonna go ahead and tie a square in the wire, move it up about two inches, and we're gonna start with our lead, our lead hook. Flip it through, back through the square knot. I don't know if y'all can see that. And you're going to go around twice and back through. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. You got to use your pliers or your crimps to go ahead and grab this wire nice and snug. Cinch it down. Pull it tight. And then down a little bit more. Now it's recommended that you do this one time. Pull it tight, but I like to get a little bit of that excess out of there. And that's all you have to do for your loop knot up front. Uh, what I'll often do is just to give it a little reinforcement, I'll loop my tag end back through. Come around again. back through. As you can see, it's not too kinky, it just does not want to bend. It wants to stay straight. That's great for presentation, not for everything else. So now that I've got it through the eyelet of the hook, back through one more time. This just gives you a little bit of abrasion protection little excess, a little more than what they actually recommend online with Not Too Kinky's website. Uh, they've got videos online if you didn't see the way I did the hook. I'll show you a close up here later. I'll take a picture of it. And so that's it. Alright guys, here we've got the front hook done. Hopefully you can see how I've doubled it up on that, that front piece of leader and that's pretty much all there is to that we'll go ahead and work on the next couple hooks here and get this thing knocked out and then i'll show you how i rig my terminal gear all right y'all now that we've gotten that first hook done and we still have about 24 inches of wire above it i'm going to go ahead and put on my second hook which is going to be the number four owner 3x treble these things are sharp as all heck so watch yourselves when you're tying these same thing with the wire it can be a total pain if you stick yourself like i almost just did in my crotch um, again we're going to go with a loop knot so go ahead measure it out and tie your square knot and i usually like to have about 
four, maybe five inches back, depending on what I'm using it for. Uh, if you're running, say, cigar minnows, or say some other uh, short bait, like Manhattan, you might go a little bit shorter and only use two hooks. If you're using ribbon fish, longer ribbons, you'll go ahead and tie on a third, um, third hook on the end of this. And I'll show you how to do that later. But right now, we'll just go ahead and take care of the second hook with another square knot. Or sorry, Rapala loop knot. So go ahead, you get your square on there. Pull it down. Nice and snug on the square, just like so. And again, you're going to do one loop around. Two loops around. And then you're going to come in the back side of that knot. Like so. Okay? Get it nice and snug. Don't cinch it down too tight yet. This is why I have this piece of wood here. Stick that hook in the end. And use my pincers and my crimps to pull that bad boy tight. And that's it. And you can actually hear that wire stretching right there. On this one, you don't want to have all this excess right here down near your fish that you're using as bait. So just go ahead and trim off your tag end with a little bit of excess. Watch your fingers on these, they're very sharp. And that's your first two hooks. That's all you need for most short baits, even some ribbon fish. You only need two of these. And that's that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tie on our third hook here with another loop knot. And then we'll go from there and we'll just tie our swivel on. And we'll give it a little piece up front for the swivel. So bear with me. All right, here we go for round three on hooks. And I'm going to go a little bit faster this time. Like I said, you can go on Not Too Kinky's website. They have videos on how to tie these loop knots uh, for a little bit of added slippage protection. You can even put a little dot of super glue on them, but it really doesn't need it. So, for this secondary hook, we're going to go ahead and tie our square knot about three inches up again, like so. I hope you all can see that. And then we're going to loop it through not just the hook eyelet, but the additional piece of wire. Again, it's going to come around the back side. Bring it up flush. And you're going to go around once and twice and come in from the back. As you can see. Nice and snug. Put your hook in that wood if you've got it. Hopefully y'all can see that. Pull it snug on one side. And with your crimps on the other. Pull it nice and snug and you're done. That's it. That's all you need. Go ahead and clip your tag in. Yep, you got a little bit of excess wire on there, it'll be fine. That's all you need there. And now we're going to quickly go ahead and do this last one. I only usually use about four inches, five at the most, of wire behind my last treble, or my second to last treble. So again, square knot. Three or four inches. Let's go ahead and make it four. Just roll it down. Again, not too kinky. Or any other nickel titanium wire is going to have the ability to move that knot 
without kinking your wire. Go ahead, put your hook on. Now what you'll see here is the, the wire comes out of that knot one way, you're going to want to put it in on the back side of that, coming the other way. Again, nice and snug, not too tight, you don't want to pull it tight or it might actually kink that wire. The only time this wire kinks is when it's under tension and you pull on it and you bend it. Um, so again, now that it's through, you're going to go around twice. One, two, and back through, and then since I have that wire in, just go ahead and grab your hook, if I can get that wire out of the way. Pull all of them at once. That's it. Done deal. Yeah, I might go a little bit more tight on this. So, just snug it up. And snug it up. Trim the tag with a little bit extra. And that right there is your basic three hook kingfish leader. Made for ribbon fish. That allows your fish to flow and move freely in the water. And the last thing we're going to go ahead and do is add our swivel to the front of it. Now you can optionally add a half inch, or sorry, a, a one half to three quarter ounce weight underneath the swivel or above the swivel on your terminal tackle. What that does is it allows you to troll a little bit deeper without having to reduce your speed while you're kayaking. Okay, so we'll go ahead and tie on this swivel really quick and go from there. Okay, so back again real quick. We're going to tie this on with another loop knot really, really fast. Just show you the basics. Again, you're going to go through both the eyelet and the loop. And as always, I forget how to do my square knot right ahead of time, so we'll just do that real fast. So through the eyelet, and through your first loop. Around the back side. And you go one, two, through the back and cinch this bad boy down nice and snug. Again, watch out for these hooks, they're really sharp, unbelievably sharp. And I'll show you a little bit later about my terminal tackle because I do it a certain way after pulling a hook out of my leg on the water. You know, that's just not a good way to start a day is going through the surf and hooking yourself. So. Fortunately, I left this a little bit short, but we'll make it work for this. You might want a little bit more wire out in front. Teach their own. I don't usually use a lot because of the way I rig. So, if you're rigging for more toothy fish, then maybe you'll do a little bit more. Okay, now we have our swivel. Our swivel is going to be a little bit different. We're going to tie this on with basically what is equivalent to a clench knot. So, you're going to slip it on, and you're going to go around one, two, three times and back through that loop. And I don't know if you can see that, but it'll make a nice little figure eight around the, the main wire, and it'll leave it down here. And so then all you have to do is pull this tag end, and make sure your swivel is 
out of the way. There you go, like that. Nice little figure eight going. And normally I'd be able to do this much quicker, but I'm trying to make sure y'all can see what's going on here. So swivel out of the way. And that's it. Put a little dot of super glue on there if you really want to. Cut the tag in and just watch your fingers. Yeah. If the wire cutters don't like this stuff, it tells you something. And there you have it. That's a short leaded kingfish rig. And that's really all you need for basic ribbon fish. Um, you can do more, you can do less. You can do it with regular wire. You can even do it with mono or fluoro. Um, you're going to have to go a little bit heavier to deal with kingfish teeth and Spanish mackerel, any other pelagics. Um, they'll slice right through most of that stuff. The plus side to using fluoro, 60 pounds and above, is in clear water, it'll be a little bit harder for them to see. Again, that's also part of the reason I use the short piece right here a lot of the time. All right, next up I'm going to go into a little bit of my terminal rig with you. Hang in there.